Jordan High School historically has been an underachieving school. It is one of the lowest performing schools in the nation. It's been the work of our staff and Green Dot Public Schools to try to make this school a successful school. The demographics, about 80% of our students are Latino, 20% of our students are African American. This is year one of a transformation at Jordan High School. A transformation like this takes time and it takes a lot of work. And one of the things that's really needed is visible signs that change is happening. My name is Griffin Matthews, and we are here in Watts, Los Angeles. About two weeks ago, we talked to the principal, and she was telling us that the students' biggest complaint about the school is that so much good work is happening inside the building, but when they come out to eat, the cafeteria area, the play area, literally looks like a prison ground. There was chain link fences and asphalt. She was like, I'd love it if someone would come in and create kind of a cafe, do a little makeover takeover. And Matt and I were like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> this is a brilliant idea, so we thought, Let's get our friends together and let's go and make over the school. Our principal mentioned it to us briefly and she just said, why don't you guys come down? We're just having a barbecue on Sunday. So when we came in, we're like, no way. When we were touring one of the art classrooms, there was a poem that one of the kids had written. It said, I feel like a fucking champion, not no ordinary champion, but a fucking champion. And I was like, that is genius. That totally describes the school, these kids, how they're being transformed. When we started this process, it was huge, and it felt like we were never gonna finish it. And then when we broke it up into little parts, you take this section, I'll take this, became completely possible, and that's why it's gonna get done today. It just kind of brings like a smile on our faces, and so, Miss Sonny's was like, oh my gosh, I almost cried. And we could just picture the kids on Tuesday. Yeah. They're just going to completely freak out. They have no idea. We don't look like a big old mess, like a bright people, but a dull school. Now we're a bright school and bright people. They're smart and they're funny and they're loving and they're cheerful and they're friendly. It motivates us more to come because of the colors. And, and it's like nature-y. It looks like more more like earth -tongue. It looks community, like fun. Colorful and fun. Happiness. More pretty. Well, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks all right. My mom, she likes plants, you know, so I kind of like them too. I actually like that you guys added plants instead of concrete buckets. It's all colorful and bright and stuff. It's like, it's awesome. They couldn't believe that there would be outsiders who would care about our school and care about the work that they were doing. It's just nice having some, someone to think of us and just come out here and do little things like this. Later on, they're gonna realize what this means. I can't put into words how happy I am to see it, and I think it'll really help create a sense of pride that we want our students to have about themselves and about their school. Honestly, for me, I think that these are the leaders of the future, and so if we're not taking care of them, then who will? This is half of the story. The other half of the story is really getting people to know that you can make a difference by the little things you do. It was the little moments that made this whole experience so worthwhile. Across the country, teachers like the ones at Jordan High School need your help to create engaging learning environments for their students. Now on average, teachers spend about $40 a month buying basic classroom essentials like books and pens and paper. You can make a big difference by getting involved in Take Part's great back to school challenge by going to takepart.com backslash back to school and help fund the future one classroom at a time.